you know, the way that schools are structured now very much reflect the operations of the factory. The factory is a paradigm because it was the central means of production during the Industrial Revolution. Now, the central means of production in our current age is, of course, the computer. And the computer, unlike the factory, doesn't operate on models of duplication, uniformity, and mass production. It does operate in mass production, but it individuates how each person receives information. It individuates and invites participation in a way that factories don't invite participation. So if our education system thus far has reflected the factory, which has been the dominant paradigm for the last 500 years, the new education system is going to start adopting the qualities of the computer and similarly be structured in that individuated basis and for better or for worse.